it doesn't matter what I'm actually working on at the time, whatever project I've got on the go or anything like that. Sometimes I just need to put something together, even something small, something really tiny and precise or something tiny and precious. So I've just been getting all bits together. Um, I keep everything, I never throw anything away. So I've got like little edges like this, it's very narrow but quite long. And then I've kept even the main base of this handkerchief, the main cloth. Because I know I can use that and I can use it in conjunction with this lovely decorated edge that's here. Um, another handkerchief that's been cut up and used in numerous um, projects that I keep. A little scrap of cotton lawn with flowers in. I really love this cloth, it's really very pretty. And then I've got new ones that I've recently acquired from charity shops with little bits of embroidery or applique on. Uh, it's stained this one, these stains won't come out but I just won't use that area. Um, and then this beautiful piece of white work. So I've just been gathering this stuff around me and kind of I want a bit of colour. I don't know why, it's really sunny and hot today, perhaps that's why, but I just feel the need to make something that's got a lot of white but with little subtle pieces of colour in it. A piece of sampling stitching that I did on one of my classes that I don't think will evolve into anything else apart from being a practice piece. So I'm possibly going to cut a little bit of this out to use in this. And then like a tray cloth, tray cloth that's been used in several things, that's the back of it. But you know, like even here, I've kept this edge here that's not attached to anything. And this one here, because I think these things are so useful and they're too precious to just discard them, cut them off and throw them away. So I'm going to just kind of piece something together and see how it goes, see where it leads me. And I'm only going to pin, I'm not going to do any sewing, I'm just going to pin. But I think it'll uh, give me a real sense of satisfaction doing this at this moment in time. Because sometimes you get on the computer and you can't get off it and you're doing this and you're doing that and you think, I'm all about cloth, where's my contact with cloth? It's always contact with the PC or the internet. And you kind of, I need cloth to feed everything I do, to feed every day, you know. So I'm going to cut some of this up because it won't ever be used for anything else. It will just lay in a bag somewhere or in a box. I have a lot of boxes that I keep stuff in um, and it won't be used. So I may as well put it in this piece. And even if this piece never evolves into anything more than a sample, it's fine. It'll still be nice to have and to, to look at and perhaps to inspire something else. Um, so I think I'll lay that piece under that bit of lace. If I do it the other way, no, because then I've got a raw edge. So I'm just thinking about stuff like this all the time and even if I've been away for two days, as some of you may know, haven't been involved in anything. I had a couple of days break because it was my birthday and I had to do family stuff. I miss this really badly. Um, so I think that's why today I felt a massive need to come and do this. Just play with this bit, I and mean, that looks lovely peeking out from under there. I hope you can see it. I could come in closer, but then you would lose other effects. And I'm not going to pin it, so I'm sure it's going to stay as is. And this is really nice. This is a lovely piece of white. Um, I'll take the raggy edge off there. And even if it's frayed, like this is quite frayed along the top edge, I don't even mind that because I can cover that with like hundreds of French knots or something. That would really work on there. And it's building all the time. I'm laying on top of other stuff. I'm not just leaving big gaps underneath. I'm going to lay on top of other stuff. I would really like a little bit of this in here because I think it's so pretty. I'm going to have to try and buy some more of this. Have a look online, see if I can find any more. Bought it from a show. So I'm going to have to fold that over because that is quite a, a bad raw edge. If I lay that there. So I really think it's coming together. Um, and it's such a nice exercise. I really enjoy doing this. Now what can I put on here? I want something that's going to cover the pattern where I don't want the pattern visible. So I'm going to look for something quite thick. So perhaps this is quite a thick edge off this tray cloth, cut 
this along here and see if it works. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't matter. I won't throw it away. I'll keep it for something else. You know, I very rarely throw anything away. I've got so many bags and boxes full of scrap. You wouldn't believe it. Well, actually, you probably would because you're probably the same. Cut that there. So, yeah, I do think that that's going to work. I do think it is. So I'm going to lay something under here, take this off and put it back on again at the end because I want this scalloped edge to remain visible. So Now I like this and I'll tell you what I like to do with things like this. If I, so I'm going to need to cut, and this I do all this kind of stuff by eye. So up there and up there to get a straight line, let me see. So I've cut this quite long because I want, I've got something in mind for this little section. So if I lay that on there, actually I'm going to disregard this, okay, I'm not going to use that there. I'm going to turn that that way. Okay, and then that's going to cover that print where I don't want that print really visible. If I trim these edges and get them all the same width, then I'll get a better sense of how this is going to look when it's all put together. But I'm still not pinning because I'm still not 100% certain that it's going to stay like this. I'm just going to try and get a better look at the thing with the edges trimmed proportionally, you know. So, so can you see how that is there? that over there so this I'm going to put something else down here but I haven't decided what yet and this what I'm going to do when I stitch this I'll tack it together first before I stitch it but I'm going to leave this top bit open so it's like a little pocket I do that a lot especially with these scalloped beautiful scalloped head vintage edges I think these little tiny pockets that are there but not there they're always a surprise I like to have those in my work. I tend to have a few of those in everything I do. There'll always be one or two things like that in there. So I like that. So now I want something down here to kind of balance it out. And I'm wondering maybe about this, the rest of that sample. So if, yeah, I think that's really going to work. Put pictures of this on my blog as well to go with the video. I think that's really going to work. I'll try and pull in a little bit. Although you won't be able to see, so that's the bottom. That's why I'm better off pulled out, because you lose the sense of the whole thing. So yeah, so what I'm going to do is trim the edges so that it's an equal width down the whole piece. And then I'm going to pin it together. I think that's lovely, I really like that. And if I embroider on there, now that little strip might never amount to anything else, but I think it's worthy of existence in its own right. So I'm just going to pin these pieces together. And then I'll take pictures of this with log. So there's a lovely tiny little strip. It's really delicate and it's so precious because some of these cloths are obviously, they've got history. We've got stories to tell. Beautiful. And I like the addition of the new cloth, the cotton lawn with the pattern on. And fold that over because I don't want a really frayed edge there. It's not straight. Fold that over and pin that too. see that coming together now. There's going to be some lovely photographs in this. And pin that. I'm making sure that each piece is pinned, is secure. Because I don't want anything moving about when I pick it up. So again, I'll put pins in here. 
and even pinning I just love pinning I love just touching cloth however I come to be touching it that to me is just such a pleasure a pleasurable thing to do so and one last pin to go in there and then I'm going to cut this top bit here to give it a better sense of proportion. There. I think that's lovely. So what I'm going to do is I'll take some pictures of this and then I'm going to do some stitching on it, some proper stitching on it. And try and enhance it and add to it, add to the, how lovely it is.